In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Magic HD and masks to project images onto objects. The first thing you need to do is put your projector image on to your object so that they're completely filled. After that, you need to figure out what is the native resolution of your projector. Uh, usually you can figure this out online by just typing the model number of your projector. And I know that my projector is 1024 by 768. The next step is to open Photoshop and create a new image that is the size of your projector's native resolution. And we want the image to be black and then we open a new window, range, new window for title. We drag the new window to take it into a new screen. We press Ctrl 1 to zoom it in 100%. And then we drag the window to our projector. Then we hit F to make it full screen. And we choose the pen tool and change our color to white. And now we can begin painting our mask onto the object. On a paper like this, you can just click one of the corners, press shift and click another corner and it will draw a line for you. Again. Okay, so now we have a basic mask outline. We can fill it with the bucket, bucket tool and the rest is, is just basic drawing it. Okay, so here we have our mask. You can also see it here in the Photoshop window. We save the mask as a PNG file and let's save it to the desktop and we will call it 006 mask because Magic HD wants to have the numbering format like this. Then we can close Photoshop. Here is our mask file. We need to transfer it to the Magic Q HD convert folder. Done. Now we can start Magic Q. And I already have the show file from the tutorial before where we looked at how to set up Magic HD. Here is the media output. And you can see that it went straight to the projector. We select player, yes, we have player selected. And now when we go to the uh, player window and hit F11, it goes to full screen. We go to media, layer one, locate, output, locate. So we can see that uh, Magic Q is projecting the test image on our, on our projector. Then we go to output, mask, choose our mask folder and our mask. And now you can see that the uh, mask is actually compressed so it's not, it's not full screen. Okay, so uh, I stopped the video to look into the problem why the mask was offset a bit and uh, the fault was actually that in the media conversion process of Magic HD something happened to the mask, fi mask file because we saw that in Photoshop it was okay and what I did was uh, from the media player convert media uh, which forces uh, Jamzus uh, to convert all media and after that it works perfectly.
So we choose locate layer, locate output. We get our output screen. Then we go to mask, choose our mask folder and mask file. And as you can see, the mask that we drew earlier is used for the video. And now we can go back to layer one and uh, add some other media to it besides the test screen, for example, this image. And now you can see our image that is projected onto the paper on the puppet. And in the video, you can't really see anything else. But in the live situation, there is some video projecting also onto the background. But you in theater or geek situations, you can uh, actually hide all of that. And you can also uh, project different videos on different layers into different objects. Uh, for example, by changing the layer size. So let's say we want to have this video clip playing only on the puppet and we have some other material on the paper. So we'll go to uh, layer one position and we'll scale the layer a bit. So it's a bit smaller, maybe scale it. Right. And then we will change the layer position. So it's only on the puppet. And maybe change the scale a bit more. Okay. And you can actually save all of this as a preset. So if you're using the same positions, for example, puppet, you can save it as a position uh, beam preset, just like with moving heads. So now we have the video playing on the puppet, and then we go to layer two, locate, and scale the layer two a bit, maybe scale it in that direction a bit, and move it over to the paper. And again, we can choose the media. Let's say we want to have a star here. And that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, please comment on the video.